A common thread that runs through all these cases is Hasbank, which started as an UNDP project in 1998. This community development bank is headquartered in Ulaanbaatar. Besides the micro-lending pillar, the bank has now embraced a range of financial products, including the cutting-edge mobile banking. Hasbank has spread into all the 21 provinces of Mongolia, with over 90 branches and 1,300 employees. It has now become the fourth largest bank in Mongolia. How did this come about? Entry point um, in 1997, where we invested a little bit more than a million dollars in this startup program. The grant was intended to provide micro loans to low income Mongolians. And I remember Ganhu Yag, I remember going to a board meeting, and you could really see that we had played a, an important role at the start and the takeoff, and Roberto Cater had provided the kind of technical expertise that... And we had a planning workshop with the seven core staff. By the end of the workshop, there was a picture on the wall of a tall, multi-storied building called Hasbank. And then finally, uh, Batu Chir, who is now the CEO of Has, came up with his marker and drew the final picture on top of that visualization, which was a helicopter. And for him, that symbolized that Haas would expand beyond the Mongolian frontier, embrace the promotion of microfinance in other countries, which is what Haas is doing now. In terms of delivery of microcredit, the credit was not available at the time when we were starting. Robert used to tell me the story of how he went around, interviewed people, and uh, his, during the t uh, tendering process, for example, many people would say, you know, don't do it, and uh, Mongolians will not repay these loans, because look at what happened in the banking sector. Nobody repays their loans. And, uh, well, we have proven uh, these people wrong. Well, the vice governor of the central bank traveling with me, I think his name was Mr. Bolt. At that time, Mongolian banking sector was in deep crisis. So the authorities were looking for alternative channels to provide some basic financial services to Mongolian people. Very strong government support also uh, right intervention of uh, international donors and community. The formation of the bank reflected many of Mercy Corps' values and what it would hope to accomplish in Mongolia and the type of work it, it wants to do worldwide um, in terms of providing services to the marginalized citizens, uh, serving the rural areas. It was a very good fit for Mercy Corps' own core values and mission in Mongolia. The irrefutable fact that Haas has had a significant and lasting impact on tens and thousands of families throughout the country. I just remember that uh, when we were just first opened a branch in Sanshan in Dornbluff in 1998, you know, uh, just people were lining up just to get the applications for a loan. And, uh, there's broken doors and broken windows and, you know, uh, where the sign that uh, there is a great demand, great uh, need for this kind of services. I was able to get a lot of money from the and so it was a so-called mission of double bottom line. We have expanded it recently to include the third bottom line, but that's another story. And for us, to be quite uh, clear and uh, transparent from the very beginning is a must. Uh, we, we did not expect to uh, become Hass Bank, non-bank financial institution, a success in 
very short span of time. Uh, to solve social problems with for-profit oriented financial institution. And that was the uh, key uh, success factor. Irrefutable. Haas has had a significant and lasting impact on the overall financial sector and on the livelihoods of tens of thousands of people. We'll always be at the forefront of uh, uh, leading the market with uh, innovative products and um, the organization which never stops, the organization which always changes. And uh, at one time I used to say that uh, um, the culture of the institution was uh, the change itself and uh, the change was uh, running in our veins. For me, the most difficult challenge is how to transfer this institutional culture from a kind of generation to generation, or how to maintain this culture and then how to deliver this to the next generation of management and employees. And see the, you know, the extent of the work of this institution um, where we planted a seed 10 years ago and to see that it has really flourished. So my congratulations to everybody who's been so deeply engaged in this effort. I think we need to grow, but uh, I think the growth is more essential in terms of not having uh, too many directions. And I think it's important to have focus, focused growth in and have very, uh, spelled, very good spelled out strategies to grow. And I think also organic growth is also essential. We have somehow lost of the things that we had when we were small, when we had this kind of family belongingness, family culture. We have lost some, some of the values that we had. We are the uh, toughest judges to ourselves to assess whether we are socially responsible or not. For the future of Haas Bank, that it's going to be the green bank the most sustainable triple bottom uh, line bank um, of Mongolia. And uh, they've already proven that, but we'll do so even more in the future to come.